So we're going to be doing a cost report um, based on the Sipcut software. Uh, someone over on the Fiber Laser uh, Facebook page, that's uh, Fiber Laser Ninja is the name of the group. Uh, very helpful bunch of guys over there, but I'm going ahead and just doing a video to show the whole process uh, from one from start to end. Uh, so we have this part, we're going to cut 500 of them for our customer, who's me actually, but uh, we're going to hit the nest result. Uh, so we're going to nest these. We're going to say that this is stainless steel and that it's uh, 7, 0.7 millimeters thick, which is 22 gauge roughly for us in the States. Um, and I click OK. It's going to generate a nest result on two sheets because my machine's small, it's a 4x4. Four four, so takes some time to do, even though I'm on a really powerful computer, the software is just kind of limited so it doesn't crash out the computers they normally use it with. Okay, so we're going to do report information. We have to put information in so it can generate a report. It doesn't know how much anything costs, so we have to tell it. Uh, so the first thing, uh, this has been imported from when we typed it in before at the nest result. It loaded here, uh, so that can be helpful. Uh, you can just change it as well but that's what it says. Uh, so we enter our plate price per square meter. Uh, a four by four, uh, rather a four by eight sheet of stainless steel. Uh, my cost for the grade I'm using currently is $77 when bought in a full pallet. Um, might be better in some areas, might be better through different suppliers, but that's what I have available to me. So uh, a four by eight sheet has right at uh, three meters, three square meters on it. Uh, so that's roughly 26 bucks per square meter. Our cut price, uh, we're going to say that it's $1.55 uh, per meter. You're going to notice that the currency is RMB. I cannot find where to change that. I would like to change it to USD because that's what I work in is US dollars. Um, obviously, if you're working in a different currency, you would add your values in. Uh, our cut, cut time is um, $55 per hour. And our pierce price, we're going to say, is five cents per pierce. We have our next thing. Uh, we can put a header on. So I put my YouTube channel. Uh, our quote is only valid for so long. We can put that in this other footer. We can put the cut tolerance for our customer to say, hey, you know, if you're going to put that micrometer on, then whine about it being one, you know, one ten thousandth out. Uh, no, no, no. It's five thousandths is our tolerance or whatever tolerance you're cutting to. Uh, we click OK, and we click Generate Report. So it's going to ask us what our speed is, and it will use this data here in this menu to generate uh, essentially a simulated cut time, because we're telling it we want to make so much per hour, so it needs to know how long that's going to be. So we're going to click OK on this. It's going to generate a result. And this is our top page. It shows our nest results, uh, nest one, nest two. It'll tell us how long each one is, how much movement, all this data that's very, very useful. Uh, and it will give us down here our price. And this is our total. Obviously, you have some Chinese uh, text in here, and that might be problematic if you're going to use this to account for a uh, customer result. Uh, so. From what I can tell, it looks like it only has a, there's Chinese text here and here, and then you have RMB here and here, uh, and the rest of it's just that it's in metric values, so it doesn't really have any uh, problems. The only other thing is, of course, the data's out of order. For, you know, in the United States, we use our dates in a different order. Uh, not really a big deal. And I'll show you, you can, go through each of these and it shows a lot more data on each one that can be useful. Uh, it shows the location of the file up here. Um, I can't see how to turn that off so if there's anything about your filing system you don't want shown uh, you would move it to another file and and then represent your uh, nest result before doing it. If you don't you know just be aware that that's up there. Um, so it gives all of this data and basically, a lot of it is your customer doesn't necessarily need. Uh, again, it gives your uh, plate price right here, so you know more uh, has the currency on there. Um, so what we can do now is we can print this out. And what I'm going to do is instead of printing to my uh, ink, my uh, laser printer, I'm going to print to a PDF. 
and you can use something like PDF Redirect 2, uh, or you can use Microsoft Print to PDF, uh, and it will print them out. And we're just going to do page uh, page one uh, because I only want the splash page for my customer. In this case, I don't want the other two pages; they don't need them. Uh, so we're going to print that out, and click print, I guess. And it's going to ask where I want it, so I guess I'll put it. Um, I guess I'll put it right here. And it should be done printing pretty soon. Yep, it's done. So this is a fast way you can modify a PDF if you want to use uh, a PDF like the one that comes off the laser where it has characters on it that we don't want and we don't have a way to get rid of them in the editor. Uh, we can go ahead and clean them up. Um, using this method, this is free, doesn't take any special software, no cost. Okay, so we open this up. Uh, this is Adobe Acrobat. Uh, we, I find that going to the take a snapshot tool helps and you go select all and then copy selected graphics. We minimize, we go to paint and we open up, um, we click paste and it pastes it in. Um, we zoom in just a little bit, grab the select tool and then we'll scroll down to those areas we wanted to clean up. So just a little further down, yeah right there. And we go ahead and we have to just kind of be careful with this. We just put our select tool over, delete RMB, delete RMB, and we're going to go ahead and just move this to center. And we're going to just kind of move and leave that little bit of dirt out of there and then we're going to just cover it over. There we go. Okay and scroll down and we're going to just delete these two areas of Chinese text because ours is going to be <clears throat> all in one language. Okay. Um, it's called Pierce Price in the uh, chart so we're just going to go with that. Center it. And then we're going to go total, drag that over, drop it down, zoom out, and we're going to look over, see if there's anything else we don't like. Eh, all looks good to me. Uh, we could change the date the same way if we wanted to, but I'm not going to use all, a bunch more of your time. Save as JPG, as untitled, drop it onto the, it's now on the desktop. <clears throat> we're going to go print. Deselect fit picture to frame. Uh, we're going to select our PDF um, printer of our choice. In this case, it's PDF Redirect 2. Click print, and we're going to call it uh, laser price list. And it's going to pop up here on the desktop. And we can see we have our price list and uh, we've eliminated the Chinese text, everything looks like it's right, and we've taken our uh, RMB off of the end of our two prices. Uh, so everything looks good. We can send that off to our customer if we want to, uh, and they can look over our price and see if they like it. Uh, again, just a great option to use what you already have and what's free to uh, do work for you. And down the road, if you find uh, that you're using this a lot, I would recommend going with a uh, PDF editor uh, they're just a lot easier, and since they stay in the vector-type drawing, uh, you don't get little imperfections introduced into it, uh, like you do when you modify it with a raster document like uh, Paint. Uh, but that's just a fast way you can do it with stuff that's already on your computer. All right, thanks for watching.